right triangle trigonometry. Here's a problem for you. The, um, the height of a building. And we're going to take a look at this. Uh, how would you find the height of that building? Climb up it and drop a tape measure down? Or could you do it another way? That picture on the title slide shows a method for accurately finding the height of a building without dropping a long tape measure from its roof. In fact, we can measure its height without ever leaving ground level. We can use the same technique to find the river or the width of a river without swimming across it. These are the first practical applications of trigonometry we can discover. But in this course, there are many, many more. Here's some reflections on a river on a right triangle. If you had a right triangle, on, then let, let's make some assumptions. Let's assume that the length of the hypotenuse C doesn't change, and that we can increase the angle theta by rotating the top end of side C counterclockwise. This would change the shape of the triangle. It would be taller and shorter. This is shown in the next slide. Part one. As the angle theta increases, the length of the side opposite theta increases, and the length of the side adjacent to theta as assumed, we did not increase the length of the hypotenuse, the longest side, you can still C. Notice something else. As theta increases from 90 degrees, tangent function. You want to find the width across a river at point X, and you have with you a protractor and a tape measure, and you can't swim. How do you measure the width of the river? And would a GPS receiver help you? 